Smith County commissioners voted to approve a funding mechanism that will help bring utilities to this growing area. What was once a heavily wooded area near Owen Town is now flat as a tabletop. Land being developed for the company responsible for the Yellowwood brand, all part of Tyler's new interstate commerce park. I want to get companies here that are profitable. I want them to pay people, and I want those people to be able to provide for themselves and their families and, and participate in our community. And to help attract those companies and provide for those already investing, today Smith County Commissioners approved a financial mechanism that will help bring water, sewer, and gas lines to the area. This is an unincorporated area of Smith County, so water and wastewater is served by East Texas Municipal Utility District, and this will allow them the financial mechanism to, to, to finance those water and sewer enhancements. With all that put together, they'll actually benefit. As the tax value goes up on that property, they'll actually benefit by some funding to assist them to, to prepare that property for everyone who's moving in. The county is also helping the new business park by building a new county road. A project approved last year, paid for using four and a half million dollars in federal funds given to Smith County as a result of the American Rescue Plan Act. For perspective, that is the first new county road that's been done in Smith County since the 1950s. So there's a lot of activity in an area that's really been dormant since the 40s. The last real activity that's been on that facility was during the 1940s when it was Camp Bannon preparing soldiers to deploy for World War II. And while plenty of work is underway on the west side of 155, across the highway, Averett Express has gone vertical with construction on their new $10 million center. Progress being made on major economic development efforts, bringing jobs and investment to East Texas. And Martinez says the business park offers something Smith County has not had in the past and will help attract industrial and distribution projects that have been lost to other areas in the past.